Welcome to a point of view video test drive in the Volkswagen Golf R. So this is the five door version, which is the one I'd go for. And it starts from just over 31,000 pounds. It has keyless go this. So actually look, you can see there where it scratches where people have been trying to put the key in. We don't need it even though it's got a key. You just start it with this button. There we go. So as standard, this car gets the digital driver's display there, which is an option normally on Golfs and you get the big eight inch high end stereo system which is very nice quite easy to use for a touchscreen so big news about this car is of course the engine it's two litre turbocharged and it has 310 horsepower which is quite a bit more than the front wheel drive golf gti with performance pack and obviously it has all wheel drive grip which is fabulous on a day like today because i can accelerate like that <laughs> and i'm at 60. it just goes really goes it's a wonderful wonderful engine so 0 to 60 is 5.1 seconds with this manual version and it's 4.6 if you have the automatic depending on how you want to use the car if you're going to be driving down back routes i'd go for the manual otherwise i'd go for the auto if there's going to be a lot of down work done or you're going to be in traffic quite a bit here's this is interesting this is a car <laughs> that you're like to be chasing if you've got a Golf R, it's a Honda Civic Type R that's in front of me. That's front wheel drive. So today, I'll be quicker than him. This guy's actually nothing to do with me, so I can't tailgate him. He might get a little bit cross. But anyway, shall I show him who's the boss? Come on, what are you doing? Yeah, pull over, out of my way, Honda Civic Type R. Yes. I've got all-wheel drive traction. Normally that car is a little bit more fun <laughs> to drive, but today the Golf rules. So I was talking about the gearboxes. So if you're going to be on roads such as this, definitely this manual, because it's, it is pretty nice. You can heel and tone it quite easily because the pedals are just the right position. Look at that, gripping. And it's a playful chassis as well. <laughs> and here's where you feel the benefit of the all-wheel drive. Actually right now, you can just blat out the corners. It really grips. And you can turn the stability control off if you want to. It's the only Volkswagen where you can do that. Over this hill, I'm not, I don't want to get air. Just went light, woo! And there's so much punch from this engine. The steering's lovely as well. The chassis balance, like, look, I lift the corner, you can feel it tighten the nose there. Even though it's the same chassis as, well, the same platform as the Audi S3, it just seems more playful, more alive got a bit more feel to it it's a more fun car to drive if you're on that kind of road the inside though isn't quite as posh there's not really all that much to set it apart apart from like this kind of fake carbon fiber effect here you get these R oh, sports seats that are cloth and a bit alcantara-y you get blue stitching not stitching you get blue marks around there and the blue element on the dials I can change the view of this actually let's have a look how I do I do it yep there we go different view of, of that um, brilliant Awesome. Yes. There we go. <laughs> so you can change all the different views. You can make the dial slightly smaller if you want them to be smaller. And that's it. Yeah. It doesn't seem that special though, but it feels special to drive. It really does. And it is more fun than the Audi. It's just if you're mainly commuting, the Audi may be a bit better. Back seats, normal five door golf. Not much to say about that really. Plenty of room for adults. Boot wise, well, it's a bit smaller than a normal Golf by about 40 litres because you've got underneath there, you can't see it, but you have the rear differential for the all-wheel drive system to let you look at the back of the Golf R because it's just looks more sporty than a normal Golf. You've got lowered suspension, you've got the quad tail pipes. Those are optional alloy wheels, I think. And it's got an optional styling pack on it, so you don't only get the kind of dark side skirts and stuff. But there we go. Now, if you want to see what price you can get the Golf R for, click on the top right hand corner of the screen, the pop out banner to get a carwow.co.uk. And if you want more content and videos on the Golf R, click on the video windows. You can watch them. Hope you enjoyed the test drive. 